Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian. And Jinx here. And welcome back to Truck Driver on the PlayStation 4 Pro. All right, so let's get our engine started. And I want to show you that we actually have a new guy open up. Uh, this is Sawman. Seven Nordland. Also known as Sawman. Sure, also known as Sawman. The Jigsaw. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. That's what's going on in that shelter there. Right there. It's it Jake Saul's like place. I guess a it does. Creepy place would go. A creepy place would go. Yeah, like creepy places go <laughs> places. <laughs> All right. So, as you guys heard it, we're gonna meet Jigsaw. I guess that is not Jigsaw. That doesn't uh, look yes, anything it like it him. Is. Nope. Yeah. You know what? I guess like the brow. A bit. A little bit looks like him, but the rest is this not. Maybe before... that's what he looked like before he got sick. Yeah, he got into that accident. It's probably like a. A sawmill accident. <laughs> I really don't like asking. He was had cancer, Jinx. Did he? Uh, yeah. Oh. I really don't like asking people for help, you know, but I'm simply swamped at the moment. So he's going to have a sh ship some wood chips. wood chips. Actually, that's right over there. I should have just backed into it. Seriously, though, did Saw have like a story? Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, they kept making them. I've only saw the first two after that. I only I was saw like, the first one. Yeah, I've well, oh, the first I might two. Have you saw, saw the, the second, second one. one. Yeah. I you just did don't see that remember one. it. Yeah, I remember some of the traps. Like, there's the one with the needles. Was she that had the to go. second one? That was the second one. There's a big old pile of needles okay. or some shit like that. Yeah, she had to go I in. Think I she was a drug addict. So, yeah, I saw the first two, but those are all I saw. They, I guess they got like a ton of them. And, uh,. They were really popular for the time. They kept making money. They kept making the damn game, so or movies. <laughs> the game. So uh, apparently, There's people were watching. There's water on the ground, but when did it rain? Was there water over there? Yeah. There's mm. muddy puddles. Okay. Oh shit! We were going off road. Yeah, this is the way we came, Jinx. Oh, you didn't see me drive over here. That's no, right. I didn't. But yeah, we got the wood chips here. And. One of the complaints I've seen from some people post is that they don't like how the different cargos don't feel different. Which I don't know if that's the case in the PC versions, because again, we never played the PC uh, uh, games, like the American Truck Sim and the Euro Truck Sim and stuff. So I don't know if that's like typical of these style of games. Uh, but yeah, they were talking about how it's, they don't really like that each haul doesn't feel different. Why in the hell do we not have this covered? Hmm? I don't know. It seems pretty standard. There's gonna right? be wood chips flying all over. Isn't that the way? It, the isn't that the way it usually is? It is. Yeah. <laughs> I just, hate it. <laughs> I don't like driving by the behind the trucks that just got you know a whole bunch of Every construction goddamn goods in the back morning, or something. I'm driving to work. There are these semi trucks mm -hmm. carrying all these oh, rocks gonna crash and into shit. Us. And what's worse is there's covers uh -huh. on there, but they're it's not. It's still stuff flying out of it? No, they don't even use the covers the way that they're supposed to. You know, they have like the thing that's supposed to like go over uh -huh. whatever they're carrying, but it's left open because they're lazy as fuck, I guess. Okay. So yeah, use your covers, guys. Jinx is serious about <laughs> this. This is no joke. She's frustrated. So if so you live in Colorado Springs and you're a trucker. Cover your shit. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys can see we go a lot faster. Before when we had a... A tractor in the back uh, we didn't have or a trailer excuse me on the back oh. uh, we couldn't hit a hundred no. and I noticed when I was driving over to that guy's place that I think we hit like a hundred and six or something like that Damn. with our new engine so yeah the new engines definitely were feeling it this poor guy he's like trying to pass me <laughs> and I'm all driving in his lane just blowing wood chips all mm, over Blowing him. wood chips everywhere when he's Checking behind us. Paint. And then when he tries to get get past us, then we get all up on his lane, which is pretty standard for truckers. That's realistic. At least we're not carrying cows. And there's poo flying everywhere. Does that ha happen? Have uh, you had poo fly everywhere? Yeah. Have you never <laughs> driven in Texas? I've driven in Texas. I drove a lot in Texas. I, I even drove around like trucks and that had uh, trucks or trailers cows? that had... I don't know about cows. I remember horses. There's a... Uh, a trailer with horses. Well, you see those horse, all the time. No, I'm talking about like the big like cows stacked upon cows trucks. Yeah, they have those in the army. Uh, oh, you remember when you're in basic um, and they had the big cow trailers? Did uh, they not have yeah, those for you guys? They did. Yeah. Yeah, and they they ship you to off like, to sit in each other's laps. Yeah, it's real. They they and when you're going from reception, which is reception is where they get you ready. A lot of people expect when you first because I did. I expected when I got uh, sent to boot camp. 
Uh, which for me was OSET, which is one station unit like training. Stepping off the bus was the beginning. Yeah, so yeah, I went to OSET, and that is uh, for combat arms and MPs do OSET, where you do your, your basic training, boot camp, uh, what most people would call boot camp, and your AIT, which is your advanced individual training for your job. Uh, so I, you do those in the same location. Essentially, the only thing that changes is, well, nothing changes. You have the same drill sergeants and everything. Mm hmm. And so they just shake your hand and say, wiggle to AIT, and then it just continues to suck. So it's kind of like the Marines. Marines like to talk shit about combat arms because they're always like, you know, we do four months of basic training while you guys only do nine weeks. That's not the case. For our combat arms, our infantry, our artillery, which I was artillery, uh, the armor, uh, as well as um, the... Uh, the drivers. Huh? Drivers do not do OSET. Yeah, they do. I don't think so. Yeah, they do. They never left. I don't know about that, Jinx. I don't know. I could. Ch I don't actually know, but I don't think the drivers do. I don't think they do OSET. I, I think it's just the combat arms, and I think the only non-combat arms that do is OSET is MPs. Mm -hmm. Now, I could okay. be wrong. Uh, I could be wrong, too. I'm not entirely it's sure. It's been a while. It has been a long time. <laughs> that was a lifetime ago. But yeah, we do basically four months of basic training because it's, it's four months, and it's the same old fucking bullshit. But anyways, where did we get? I got all sidetracked talking about OSET. I don't know, what were you talking about? Uh, we were talking about, oh yeah, when you were going from oh, reception trailers. yeah, <laughs> to basic. When you when you first hop off the bus, you think that it's, I'm just gonna go by. Screw him. Oh, do I have to park it somewhere? Where do I need to park this thing, in here? Oh, There's that was weird. There. Yeah, I guess park it in the middle of the road. Huh. Well, it never really, Okay, I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. Me oh, maybe either. it's right here? And normally it marks where we need to go. Usually on the map, there's like a drop off Yeah, this you. is weird. Maybe you can hold it for automatic parking <laughs> and it'll tell you where the fuck to go. Uh, would you like to automatic park? Yeah, you get a bonus if you do. Maybe we'll have to do that if I can't find where they want the fucking trailer. We'll look for it though, guys. So we can get that bonus money. Oh, oh there, there it is. is. All right. It's just kind of popped up in a weird spot. That was really strange. Yeah. And we can sleep right over there, too. All right, nice. Go ahead and pull up here. I oh, yeah, when you first hop off the bus, there are drill sergeants who hop on and start yelling at you and shit. Uh, but it's not... It's not as exciting as it gets. <laughs> yeah, it's that is not, you know, the, the main drill sergeant. Reception is where they get you your medical stuff. They get your gear... They take Fill all out the a lot shit of paperwork. You you. Yeah, <laughs> you. Throw it away. Yeah, they make you. That's the <laughs> that night you get there. You have to throw away all paraphernalia. It's the one chance you have. Your first paycheck on their shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, they only make you throw away any paraphernalia. Anything you're not allowed Apparently, to have. everything I brought was paraphernalia because <laughs> they made me throw everything away. And then uh, you get your medical stuff. You get all those shots. Ugh. That was a ton of shots. Oh, God. Yeah, the lineup. Yep, and they, they just stab you in the ass. Under, under britches. Yeah. Drop your drawers. <laughs> yep, they stab you right in the ass there. For me, like, yeah, they, they did, like, all the shots in the ass, and then they did the, they ran out of flu shots. Uh-huh. So they were doing the live vaccine in the nose thing. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And they didn't tell anybody that they were doing the nose, you know, where you inhale it. Yeah. Or whatever. So everyone was freaking out because they just shoved this thing in your face after you've just gotten stabbed in the ass like six times. <laughs> it's like, I don't know what you're putting in my fucking face. I think I only got like one shot in the ass, <laughs> like the penicillin, I think, or whatever it was they gave us. I got like all, apparently I was behind on my shots. <laughs> so Jinx had to get like 10 shots like in the ass. all the shots in the ass. Yeah, the rest were in the arm. But yeah, there was the Come one shot. In the ass. I don't even know that I needed shots. I think they were they just, just wanted to see your fun. ass. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Like we've got more shots we can give her. <laughs> so let's get this marked on the map here, uh, so that we know where to go. We've never been over here. This is the uh, the power plant, I guess. So it looks like it's, that's also where David Sung's missions are done. Uh, but yeah, that's the way reception is. It's not. It's you fill out a lot of paperwork. Mm -hmm. It's pretty lax because what the army doesn't tell you is that reception is the one place where you can leave, and you're not really in the army yet. That's yeah. why a lot of paperwork is at reception. You're not actually in the army. You can get out. It's actually much much easier to get out in reception than it is once you get to basic training. Once you get to basic training, it's actually kind of can be kind of hard. We to get had out. a couple people like escape. 
I wasn't talking about escaping. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, seriously though. Like they look for you while you're on the grounds, but yeah. they're not gonna like go look for you after that. <laughs> we had a guy that was trying to get out in reception and he had been there for, I don't know how long. He'd been there for months though yeah. in reception. He was trying to get out, like hopping into dude's beds and stuff. <laughs> yeah, everyone trying tries to, everybody tries the gay tried thing. To, it doesn't to, work no yeah, more because now you're allowed to be gay in the army. But before it was that don't ask, don't tell. They're like, haha, bitches, we don't care. Yep, so now you can't <laughs> use that. I am surprised the army didn't want to do that sooner, actually, I know, so right? they could stop having people pretend to be gay to get out of the army. Mm-hmm. Although, again, it usually didn't work. No, it didn't. Mm-hmm. You were just that person who was pretending to, to be, be gay. gay to get out, and you but just kind everybody of everybody knows you're not gay. Yeah, all you did was ruin your reputation. Now everybody's gonna make fun of you. Like the you're entire a bitch, time. but not a gay one. Mm-hmm. And then if anybody, because it's a long time, four months is a long time to go without a woman. And uh, so if anybody's looking for a blowjob, you're gonna be the first one they're gonna come to. <laughs> 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 hey, dog! You said you're gay. <laughs> come here. <laughs> oh, <God>. Prove it. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna crash! Oh shit! <laughs> I saw that. This when I get on in this game, I just don't care. I just don't just give a whatever. fuck. Yeah, I just get on. Even if I see people coming, I saw him coming. I knew he wasn't gonna stop. I said, "Fuck it, whatever." I'm the truck. He's the van. <laughs> I make the rules on this Those road. Those Amazon vans, man, they are serious. <laughs> I always get playing. behind them in traffic because I know they're gonna get where they're going. <laughs> they gotta really deliver fast. some shit. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, the the reception is is pretty cake, guys. It's, they're trying to fatten you up. Yeah, they give you the the defect there. It's mm-hmm. so banging. Oh my god, you it's got delicious, delicious food. And it's really cakes. good. Mm-hmm. I was suspicious. There's no PT. A lot of it. Yeah, there's no PT in there. Or there might be a little you bit, but it's pretty. It might be. You know what? <laughs> it's been a long time since I've been. I joined a lot earlier than Jinx did. So it's been a long time since I've been in. We might have did a PT, but I remember it being like really easy. It, yeah, it was nothing compared to what came after. Mm-hmm. They do shave, shave your head bald there for the guys at reception. You know, I came very close to shaving my head. Just like, fuck it. I should have. I regret that. <laughs> Not shaving it? Yeah. Uh, so, so yeah, reception is a uh, cake. And then when when you're ready to go to basic, you get your orders to go to basic. Then they put you on a cattle truck. And, they, you know, it's all part of the... It's, it's all psychological. Mm-hmm. They're all trying to get you af- afraid, get you scared. We had dudes, and it works. We had dudes pissing themselves on the cattle trucks. Ew. A couple dudes. It was just disgusting. That's gross. Yeah. Yeah. Just So they're just terrified. No, our just cattle absolutely trucks terrified. were packed. They stink. <laughs> and not like cow shit. They stink like human stuff. I don't remember it stinking. Oh, I remember it stinking. I almost I sometimes I think the drill sergeants went and took a shit on there on purpose. <laughs> just they so may that have. it would just so that it would reek. Yeah, some of the drill sergeants I had. Yeah. I could totally see you doing that. Yeah, spreading shit all over the, like, <laughs> the cattle oh, trucks. That's not cool. And then yeah, then it then it starts, man. Uh, you get on that cow truck and, and then everything they, you do is wrong from there on. <laughs> yep. And then it's all it doesn't You're too matter. Slow. Yeah. It's just about fucking you up. That's all just kind of strip you down beat you down as much as possible i never got beat well i got attacked once but that was it was i just expected more fighting well jinx had a very different experience than yeah, i did for two a reasons kinder, gentler army. one jinx joined years after me yeah didn't you join you did basic what three years after i did basic yeah i, I want to say it was three years in oh six okay maybe two years because yeah, i did six. mine in oh four so yeah two years before or two years after i mean is when Jinx did her basic, so it was a little bit uh, of a kind of gentler armor just over oh, the just over the two so years. Much, yeah, because I remember when maybe like a year and a half, two years, probably about mm-hmm. yeah, probably about two years actually after I was already at my unit and stuff, and we had the new privates coming in. They're telling me about all kinds of like crazy shit, and stress cards and shit, and like they got to have their cell phones in basic. We didn't have our fucking cell phones. I never saw any stress cards. I heard about them, but I, I don't think they were a thing. <laughs> yes. Well, they did have stress cards. It's yeah. It's a real thing, but I started hearing about it. And, uh, yeah, then being able to have the cell phones with them was crazy. Uh, let's do the pick up some logs. He has some majestic fucking hair. We pick it up here? Or are we bringing him the logs? We might be bringing him logs. Oh, well, he looks like he has a lot of logs. <laughs> he needs all the logs. Uh-huh. Yeah, so he wants us to go pick these up from these lumberjacks. If I don't see a goddamn lumberjack, I'm going to be really disappointed. I know, right? It's just going to be a bunch of people on, like, little sweater vests or mm-hmm. puffer vests. 
But yeah, just a kinder, gentler army. And then, uh, in addition to that, Jinx was a pogue. Yeah. She was not combat arms. No. And combat arms is a very different experience. I know because I've done both. Uh, I reclassed. That's how I met Jinx. Is I reclassed into military intel, which is what Jinx joined in. And that's how we met. Uh, but I was re- originally artillerated. Almost three years in artillery. Yeah, I was just disappointed I didn't get beat up more. It I was, only got thrown down once. It was different. And it was an accident, and he apologized. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it wasn't an accident that he threw me down. <laughs> but he didn't mean for it to be like that? Yeah, he was like, oh, God, I'm sorry. I'm like, no, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, it was it was a different experience, guys. You know, like, not like... Not like really fucking you up type thing, but you know, like when you're doing push-ups, kicking you in the gut, or mm-hmm. standing on you when you're doing flutter kicks, or stomping on your hands as you're doing push-ups, and pushing you, smacking your head, you know, as you ran by, you know, like little stuff like that. They put hands on you. Okay, I did get smacked a couple times with like a what was the the rod that you used to like clean your weapon? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. the cleaning rod. I could just call it cleaning rod. That hurt, <laughs> but yeah, it wasn't. I expected more. It wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't as like bad as some people might think, but it was certainly way worse than what Jinx experienced. Yeah. Again, uh, it was just part of it was just me joining earlier than it's her. Just no fun. And she couldn't join the combat arms because it wasn't. I tried. It wasn't today. <laughs> today, women can go into combat arms. My but... recruiter was like, no. And I was like, well, what about the bomb squad? Can I join them? <laughs> like, no. <laughs> Like, well, why not? (laughs) Well, this is going to be a controversial opinion for some of you guys. Being combat arms, I can say that I don't think that women should have been in combat arms, or at least not be in the same unit as the dudes. Mm -hmm. I know some people are like, well, that's sexist. And in a way it is, but here's what happened in my unit, guys. And this is why I have this opinion. It's based solely, it's, it's an anecdotal experience. It's solely my experience, and it wasn't good. So we had uh, no females in our unit because it was combat arms. And when we got deployment orders to go to Afghanistan, no, to go to Iraq, um, when we got our, our deployment orders, we uh, got five women. Uh, five women came to the unit to take over the office jobs so that the males in the office could come down to the gun line since the women couldn't be there. They can't leave the perimeter fences actually uh, on the base, or they couldn't at that time. That's obviously probably changed. And I know it's different for the infantry and some other, uh, their units sometimes take women along. But for us, the women were not going to be leaving the perimeter fences. And so they were going to work all the office jobs. Out of those five women, only one deployed. One deployed. That's it. The rest all got pregnant before they deployed. And then the one that did deploy, well, she came back after getting pregnant from the first sergeant. And the first sergeant got in a ton of trouble. And then she, so basically five women got sent and none of them helped the unit. Yeah. And then the whole unit, uh, because you know it wasn't just we got five for our our uh, battery, but every other battery got women as well. And the whole unit, the whole battalion, the just lost all discipline. Like it was, it's everything changed. Uh, because like for instance, you'd have hormones and yeah, well hormones. everybody started fucking. Everybody started fucking, and then Fighting. then the rules changed, and then like weird stuff was happening. Like for instance, we had one woman who. I guess it'd been in a porno. And you are in... You are in, I'm not going to say I guess. She we was had, in a porno. Yeah, I had one... Um, I missed my turn, by the way, guys. I don't know. There was one woman who used to do porno um, that I went to basic with. Mm-hmm. She was a fucking racist cunt, but... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, we, we so she had been in a porno. And so somebody had found her. Because you're in the army. You know how many, how many pornos these guys watch? <laughs> Between all of them, I think I just did it again. I like, just continued doing it because I just don't give a fuck, guys. <laughs> it's kind of hard to see him that far off, too, though, in the back mirrors. But anyways, so she had been in a porno. And so one of the guys discovered that and uh, then showed everybody. Everyone else. And so it, the whole like unit had all these orders where you weren't allowed to mention it to her. You got automatically written up. And then you had uh, like just the way the discipline just completely declined. For instance, you weren't allowed to walk on the grass. That's a big thing in the military. And so, like, we had, um, you know, the, the NCOs would always yell at you if you'd walk in the grass. And they'd come at you, yell and scream at you, make you do a bunch of push-ups. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, you're not allowed to walk in the grass. And they wanted any excuse they could do to, to smoke you and make you well, do push-ups. everybody knows you can't walk in the grass. Yeah. So then we had situations where we'd watch, this is just one example, where we'd watch the women break the rules, they would walk in the grass, and the NCOs would say nothing to them. Really? Nothing. 
Well, you got to remember, this is combat arms. The They didn't know how to work with women. Oh, and okay. so they were like... They didn't. Are women they didn't allowed want, to walk on the grass? Well, they didn't want to like yell at them and make them cry. Did they have their hands in their pockets as well? They got to do whatever they wanted. This was just one example. <laughs> and so the women got to do whatever they wanted, guys. I'm not exaggerating. They did whatever they wanted. And the NCOs didn't say shit to them. The officers didn't say shit to really? them. Really? And so that broke discipline down because guess yeah. what happened? When I'm walking on the grass and the NCO says, hey, don't walk on the grass. I said, well, you didn't say shit when private so-and-so walked yeah. on the grass. I'm a specialist. I don't see why a private should be able to do something I can't <laughs> fucking do. And so it, all discipline. Of course, I got my, you know, I'm sitting at, uh, you know, parade rest and shit when I talk to him. I'm doing it respectful, of course. But I'm bringing up the fact that I probably shouldn't be disciplined for yeah. something that you allowed another soldier to do. Mm -hmm. And so that happened with everything, um, with all matters. Why did that not connect? I hit it kind of hard. Yeah. Oh, you need to be kind of far away from that one, huh? But yeah, I just kind of lost all discipline. Now, this is obviously, with for the most part, other than the women getting pregnant, these are all issues with men. It's not issues with women. It's not that the women couldn't handle it. It's not because the women were the problem. It's that the men were the problem. And so I'm not saying that it's women that were the problem. It's men. Men don't know how to act around women. And shit got all fucked up. Like, we lost all the, like, the com camaraderie that we had, mm -hmm. where everybody was now competing well, to have sex with. a rivalry when yeah. you have very few mates among <laughs> Yeah, we had five women yeah. in a battery of a hundred-something dudes, guys. <laughs> and so everybody was competing for these ladies. Uh, and remember, and then we didn't have five, because, like, two of them were married. So we actually had, like, three and so yeah you've got all these dudes competing for these women and yeah it just it just kind of fucked it all up guys i'm not gonna lie and again it has to do with the dudes the dudes were just i don't know and maybe things would well, change that shit goes to women's heads too yeah when the ground that they walk on is fucking worship because they have a vagina well all the women that we had did take advantage of it. So mm -hmm, I'm not saying course. that there wasn't any problems yeah. with the women. Because, like, for instance, we would go out to the field. And it just, there was a, a lot of inequality. And so you can say mm -hmm. that, you know, it's men's issues, you know, that they can't handle it. But it's really hard when you're watching women get treated differently. For instance, we'd go to the field for, like, 30 days. Like a month at a time. Just out there in the woods. All dirty and grimy and shit. And we only come back once at, like, a two-week marker to wash your clothes. And to shower real quick. Sometimes we didn't even do that. The army does say that you're supposed to come back in two weeks, though. But the women got to go back, like, almost every day to go wash their clothes and to shower. Even though we're talking about privates. These are not, like, sergeants or officers. Mm -hmm. These are fucking privates. They get to go back and shower every day because it's a hygiene issue. When guys see that and then they see them get McDonald's and come back to the woods <laughs> with McDonald's. Because they went back to the barracks to go shower. That's crazy. And when they go to the store with new pogey bait, and while all of us are fucking out of pogey bait because we're like at the <laughs> end here and they're just snacking away and they got new cigarettes. Did they I not mean, bank on that? No, no. Really? Like, not like I did. Yeah, Man, I used to sell cigarettes and hell make yeah. a ton of money. I got privileges and I came back with snacks. I threw the bag up on mm -hmm. the second floor. <laughs> I used to load my pack up <laughs> with, with cigarettes. Yeah. yeah, I would load it up with cigarettes so that because give it give it a little bit of time well, get I mean, a week i guess you guys were allowed to have cigarettes yeah this wasn't or, basic yeah. this was a regular <laughs> unit so it wasn't contraband uh but yeah so i'd load my pack up with it and then give it about a week and nobody's brought enough cigarettes and those cigarettes <laughs> become worth so much money but i was an entrepreneur man i was always about making money any way i could i left the army with a fuck ton because everybody guys. in the army's got money to spend yep and I like making money, and I don't really like spending it. Unless you have a family, then you're broke. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're all broke. But I had all kinds of means of making money, but that was one of them. I used to sell cigarettes and when we were in the field. Uh, but yeah, I mean, they would just take advantage of it. And it just kind of it caused resentment um, and jealousy. And I don't know. It just felt like the whole unit changed. I do agree with that. Like, I feel like it should be separate. You know, not just because of the drama, but so that you can, like, train, you know, to be the best yeah. that you can possibly be. I guess if it was equal, then it'd be different, but it's yeah, not equal. It's not. And that's the problem. So it's not women, it's that it's it's the army. The army is the problem. And they don't they don't create true equality, mm -hmm. which just pisses people off yeah. and, and just destroys uh, discipline because what ends up happening is you lower the standard to the lowest standard mm -hmm. uh, so you have a low standard for women not because they can't meet the standard 
but because the army de- decides they're going to have a low standard. And so then you have to lower the standard for everybody yeah. else uh, because then it's not fair. And so, like, for instance, with the PT, that was always one that got me, man. Your guys' PT score and its scoring is so easy. Now it really is. Shit. It was ridiculous. Yeah. And so my goal was always to, to, to be able to meet the standard for the males at our age group. And I did that shit. Like, I understand, like, you guys don't have to do as many push-ups. Because, you know, physically, you know, you guys are not as strong yeah. upper body-wise mm-hmm. in general. Uh, so it looks like we had an accident here. Oh, no. That's yep. interesting. Yeah, we had an accident. They all got their... And it uh, wasn't involving us. Nope. I mean, we don't need to go that way, but I'm kind of curious. I'm nosy. <laughs> I know. But yeah, they have their hazard lights on, and yeah, there's well, a like nasty the run, thing. Like, women do not have to do shit to so, pass the run. Yeah, I understand the run being a little bit less because men run faster again. It's just genetics uh so i understand the run but your guys run was cake it was cake it was so like, easy you didn't even have to run and then i don't understand why you guys did so little sit-ups like women there's nothing physically that was always my impacting, weakness with sit-ups but there's nothing physically impacting your ability to do sit-ups as a woman no that's different yeah. from a man mm-hmm. you guys have just as much ability to do sit-ups as a man yet mm-hmm. you have to do what like a third of the sit-ups we have to do that's fucking bullshit and so when men see that shit, they get angry and jealous. And I don't feel like it's wrong to feel that way. Yeah. I feel like it's it feels unfair. It feels like this isn't, why has she got a 300 PT score and she didn't do True. shit? yeah. And I got to work my ass off to get to 300 because I suck at running. <laughs> Which I did. I sucked at running, guys. Yeah, <laughs> I was not great at running. You know what? I would have, I would be easily be in the the extended PT scale because I did so well in push-ups and, and sit-ups. But I couldn't get into the extended scale because you have to have 100 and everything. Mm-hmm. And I could never do better than 85 on the run. Uh, which you only need, by the way, you only need a 60 to pass. But in my unit, you had to have an 80 or they didn't consider it passing because my unit was all high speed and hardcore. <laughs> it was an airborne unit. So everything had to be better. We had to be better than the rest of the army. Which is also probably plays a role in my mentality on this because, you know, that was my only real experience at a, at a unit. Uh, not in training, you know was that bat unit, which was stupidly hardcore on a ridiculous level. But yeah, I had to volunteer for the Airborne like a dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> I remember they asked me when I got to Bragg, Fort Bragg, they're like, who wants to go Airborne? I went there with like five other guys who all came from the same basic training front with me. And uh, these were guys that did better in basic than I did because I kind of had an attitude and stuff. So I struggled to just kind of just a little bit. In OK, attitude. I had a massive attitude. This yeah. dude wanted to fight everybody all the fucking time. Didn't matter the fucking rank. <laughs> That's not true. Dude, no, I never tried to fight any officers. Not one time. OK, not officers. That will just get you in deep trip the trouble. The NCOs. <laughs> I had some attitude problems uh-huh. back in the day. Guys. Yeah, just a bit. I was young and stupid and <laughs> aggressive, and I just had a shitty childhood, so. Family life has softened him. <laughs> yeah, yep, I've been domesticated, guys. I haven't been in a fight since I left the prison, since I stopped working at the prison, not living at the prison, of course. <laughs> since I got out of prison. Uh, so, I guess we completed the mission for him, and it doesn't feel like he's paying as much, by the way. Oh, we're not done with the job yet. Is we still gotta pick up the second trailer. <laughs> I don't feel like it. Yeah, I don't feel like we're getting much money. But yeah, I haven't been in a fight since I, I stopped working in the prison. Uh, it's just how often people fight in real life. I, mean, I know. It's, it's not sad. Enough. It's sad. Mm hmm. I feel like I don't get to get aggressive enough. Like, I wanna take a boxing class, I wanna join a gym. Like, I know that, like, me walking into a boxing gym, I'd get my ass beat. But you know what? Whatever. It'd be fun. <laughs> yeah, I thought about doing some boxing or even MMA or something like that. Yeah, like they have fun. all kinds of like training places you can do it. And I just think it'd be fun to just do some sparring, you know, mm-hmm. to kind of take out that aggression. I mean, for me right now, my way of taking out aggression is is uh, the gym. That's where I try and get my aggression out. I get all angry and just push them weights up. But yeah, I know that. I know society has changed, and for the most part, it has changed for the better, but some things I feel like we should not have gotten rid of, uh, and I think... Yeah, like, who who said it was illegal for two people to fight? Yeah, what the fuck, man? Like, what happened to, like, when two people have a disagreement, and they want to throw blows, and they both agree to do so? This is not assault. 
What happened to them being a fight and that just being like, Without people you know, calling the popos. Exactly. <laughs> I understand why they might want to end the duels, you know, yeah, where people true. are like, you know, back in the day stabbing each other and not even that long ago shooting each other. Whatever, man. If two people are consenting to that shit, let them have it. <laughs> Uh, I understand why they didn't want to do the duel. I mean, we <laughs> lost some. I mean, there is, you know, important people doing duels and, and getting themselves killed. I, I understand that, but I don't see why we can't throw blows outside. You know, you know, not inside of business. Like, you know, Obviously. not at, right outside the business, but you know, fight clubs. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, fight clubs or whatever. Just, I just feel like if we don't need the the police to get involved with two people who don't don't like each other, and, and typically you throw some blows and everything's good after that. You throw might down. just become best friends. You might become best friends, exactly. <laughs> but instead, all we do is fume at each other. And just you just look angrily at each other. Like, like we talked about the neighbors in a previous episode. <gasps> if I wasn't going to go to jail <laughs> for <laughs> fucking them dudes up, I might have gotten in a fight with one of these dudes by they now. They are a bunch of punk-ass bitches. But <laughs> yeah, they beating all women and shit. I don't think any of them want to fight for reals. We're going to get blown this red light, aren't we? Well, we no, made it. We made it halfway across. <laughs> That light Before does not. Before it red. Is that that same light? That's the same fucking light. It like <laughs> doesn't stay green very long. It just blinks. There's like, there's actually one other light that does that in this game too. It just won't stay green. <laughs> so yeah, we did a lot of bullshit in this episode talking about the army a lot, I guess. Yeah, I guess. It's been so long too since. Now you guys don't know everything there and know about Praetorian Jinx army. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we uh we got out a long time ago too, so it's really just reminiscing. Because we got out. I didn't do much, so I don't have a lot of stories. <laughs> it takes I wasn't just in joined a long and caused time. a lot of trouble. Yeah. Of women in the military. <laughs> <laughs> Jinx is a great example, I guess, of a person who pretty much uh yeah just just got in trouble. <laughs> I was a bad kid. <laughs> you were believe it or not. <laughs> you were a terrible soldier. You're so bad at it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't like people telling me what to do. <laughs> Jinx had an attitude, too. Yeah, so no. we were a perfect match for each <laughs> we other. We were. But what was funny is no one ever expected us to be together. No. Nope. Mm -mm. They were like, what? I thought you two hated each other. I'm like, yeah. That's what we wanted you to say. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that wasn't intentional. It just seems like... We would be two personalities that wouldn't get along. Well, we have, we're like the exact opposites. Yeah, we are. We still are today. I mean, it, we have similar interests. Yeah. Oh, shit, speeding. Damn. Damn that was expensive. dollars Shit. Maybe they, I don't know if a patch did that or if it was just I was going so much you were over. Going too fast. I don't know. It felt like I was going around the same speed as these guys. I feel like I'm being treated poorly here. What a weird part of the road. It just kind of stops. Is there construction? Is that what's going on there? Yeah, there's construction. I wonder if that's part of the map world. extension, like that they're planning in a DLC, or I don't know if it'll be in a free patch or whatever, but yeah, maybe that's where they'll add to it. Oh, nope, we're not gonna make that. Get back behind this guy. So yeah, I don't know how much time we have left for the episode. A few minutes. I don't know if we'll be able to get, I'll try and get this, this second trailer dropped off. See if we can make it happen, guys. May get happen, Captain. Although our character's sleepy as fuck. If we see any uh, beds or places to sleep, I should say, little beds on the map, then we should probably stop at them. I don't think there's anything over here. In fact, this is where our garage is, and there we go. There's the the logs. The logs. We're gonna go ahead and back up here and pick up the logs. I think I just hit that parked car. Maybe not though. It's it was just funny, really like, close. all the people that we knew when we got together who said that we wouldn't make it six <laughs> months. <laughs> yeah, nobody thought we'd make it long. And here we've been, married for 12 years and yeah. some months now. Doing YouTube together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What a bizarre life. Mm-hmm. All right, so we're going to try and get these logs dropped off. Let's see how far it is. Okay, it's to him. So we'll see if we can't get it. I mean, that's kind of a distance. It looks like it's going to take five minutes of uh, real time. Damn it. Oh, you just had to make a left turn. <sighs> Fuck. I was trying not to hit that guy, Jinx. You don't run somebody over. I know. He's all honking. <laughs> I, I love that he's honking like crazy. Like, oh, no. I saw you, buddy. I had plenty of room. 
He's like, that's our final destination. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, them fucking logs. Yeah, I remember that part. That was I a cool scene. I actually didn't see Final Destination. I never saw any of those. That was a cool scene, though. I saw that from the trailer. That was probably one of the, the best Final Destination scenes. The one, the car accident, or whatever. That shit was fucking rough, though. That shit was fucked up. That was Final Destination 2, I believe. Yeah, because Final Destination 1 was the, the plane crash, and then Final Destination 2 was the big accident. Oh. And I said, those are the only two I saw, so. I know there's a lot more, though. Another one of those franchises that just kept Isn't going like a well past it should one? have. Yeah, I think there is. I didn't see it, though. Is it just like a bunch of people dying on a roller coaster? Yeah. Like, really? That's what, I'm That's trying, what the trying movie's to... about? Well, no. What happens? Do you know what Final Destination is about, Jinx? People dying? Well, so what happens is somebody has, so there's supposed to be like a big accident. So in the the first one, there's a big plane crash. And the second one, there's a big accident on the highway. And so what happens is somebody has a premonition and sees the accident happening. And so you see that as the viewer. You watch the accident happening, uh, the premonition. And then they kind of flash back and to before the accident. And then they stop the accident. Or they stop oh, certain people. So it's kind of like knowing? Uh, kind <laughs> of, but they that actually stopped the accident. That scene was awesome. Nicolas Cage was a failure, and he never stopped any of them. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> he didn't stop a single but accident. But he knew they were going to happen. He knew they were going to happen. <laughs> so what happens is, I guess, we got hit with the fine God again. damn Jesus you. Jesus Christ, this, we're not going to make any money off make this job. Make your fucking speed limit signs bigger. Or maybe we should just not pay attention to him. Yeah. <laughs> what is the speed limit here, anyway? I don't know. That's not one. No. But anyways, so (laughs) they stop like a few people from dying. So like on the uh, plane crash, he stops a couple people from getting on, like his friends or whatever, people from school. And then you have... heroic. And then you have like the accident where they pull off to the side and it pulls off a few other people. And so those people all survive. And then death is mad because it's... It wants its life back. Oh, okay. So that's the, the, the idea. So is death that goes after them. Death is going to take their lives, yeah. Gotcha. And so it goes in order of when they died. So if the, whoever died first in the, the accident, then death goes after them first. And if you can be saved, typically by somebody else, can be saved from dying, then it skips you and goes to the next person Does it to kill back? them. And then it comes back once it goes all the way around. Oh, well, that's annoying. I would... I'd be like, you got me. <laughs> I'm not dealing with this shit anymore. And so it's all about like having like the craziest kills as possible. So death has all these weird, crazy ways of killing people and stuff. He sounds like they're a nice like guy. accidents and just kind of magical Very a little creative. bit. Yeah, but they're kind of supposed to be creative. That's the idea. The whole sh- the whole movie, the whole series, is just about creative deaths. I feel like me and Death would be great friends. You think so? Yeah. It'd be like The Sims playing the yeah. rock paper scissors <laughs> with death i am great at rock paper scissors although our children have evolved yeah i was about to say don't the me. kids like beat you now that's because they played me so much that's because like win. their entire life depends on rock paper scissors <laughs> like everything like we are constantly we are gonna fall asleep i guess we're gonna find out what happens when you fall asleep oh we just passed a, a sleepy spot yeah i probably should have got off and slept but whatever room is there let's see if we make it <laughs> just chug a red bull you'll be fine we'll be fine uh so yeah whenever we're like we the kids want something and there's only like one or there's one thing that is better than the other mm-hmm. we do the fairest way possible rock, rock paper, paper scissors, scissors. rock paper scissors it's all down to your skills yeah you know, like today I, I cut the sandwich in half for them and uh one was was the end piece that they wanted <laughs> uh, you know it's like a big uh hoagie sub, sandwich, sub type yeah. of sandwich yeah and so they they both wanted the end piece and so it's like rock paper scissors whoever wins gets the end piece you know that's how we 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 don't have any fighting um, still a little bit of fit thrown sometimes, like they're pouting, I guess is what you'd when call it. When you lose every time, or you, when you lose too many times in mm-hmm. a row. Yeah, because they both had periods where they're kicking the other's ass mm-hmm. constantly at rock, paper, scissors. And the other one gets discouraged, but you know what? They get better. Yeah, and then they get better. <laughs> they get better at it, and then they have their period where they're just stomping the other player. I remember a time when our daughter had like the same routine. Yeah, she did. <laughs> so her son was just like, I don't know exactly what she's going to do first, second, and third. So, yeah, I mean, I guess you don't need to have a third third time because we do best of three, so. Yeah, they both had periods where they do well, and so if it was a case where, like, one was always beating the other, then we wouldn't use that tactic. But mm-hmm. since they kind of rotate and they, they both win, I 
think it's a fair way and you avoid a lot of the bitching. Yeah. All right, let's see if Raising we can- Raising children, there's mm. a lot of bitching. Mm, yeah. Yes, sir. All right, so we're gonna try and get this in here. You're gonna fall asleep trying to park. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I don't know if there's a sleeping place nearby. I don't, I don't think, think so. I there is. I'll try and get us to, to sleep after we end the episode, guys. Cause yeah, we're not gonna do that here on the episode. I don't think we're gonna get 100% here, guys. Maybe. No, we're yeah. kinda. You had it. Oh, there we go. You're flirting right. with it. There we go. Excellent. That gives you, I don't give you much extra money. It's like 80 bucks. And we had all those tickets. <laughs> all right, yeah, true. Well, we, we make more than 80 bucks, but that's just what we get for the bonus. So we're now 18,950, so we did make money from it because I think we were at 17,000 when we first started doing work for them. But not as much as we should have, guys. As far as like passives, uh, like, we is don't there a have. Red Bull up in there? Yeah, we need the <laughs> passive for the Red Bull. I guess we do the tire wear increase. Strong coffee. Oh yeah, there probably is something to let you stay awake longer. Yeah, it is. It's a strong coffee one. <laughs> okay, so I will go. It's not too far. Actually, we should probably go to. You might be able to make it. Yeah, we'll go up there. We'll take a nap. Although if it'd probably be easier first. to go to this one though. I think about it. Yeah, I probably would. Looks like slightly closer, and then you do the little loop de layout. I think that would be the easiest one to go to. So I'll do that off camera, guys. We're gonna go ahead and end the episode here. We're still nowhere near close enough to buy any of the new trucks, I think. Though we did unlock a new truck that I saw uh, earlier in the episode. <laughs> tired, Jinx. Tired. So I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, um, well, yeah, man, we had a lot of a lot of conversation in this one that had nothing to do with the game. You don't even know we're playing the goddamn game. We're not gonna make it, Jinx. I know we're not. I almost want to show what happens when you fall asleep. Oh, and I almost did it again. Every goddamn time. But you notice in third person, it's easier to avoid that shit. Yeah, that's true. In first person, it's a little bit harder. And... Oh, you just shut down? I guess that's what happens. You pass out right on the road. Do you oh. get fined or anything? Like, did we get in an accident? Hey, what yeah, happens? It's fine. There's got to be some penalty. People died, but it's no biggie. I would assume there's got to be some kind of penalty for falling asleep. You just had like a 16 car pile up. <laughs> <laughs> Why not show that, Almost man? Almost killed Tracy Morgan. <laughs> they should be they should be showing they if there's an accident. Yeah. You fell asleep while driving. Make sure to rest in time to make sure this doesn't happen again. Oh, really? So there's no penalty? Just you have to start it's over a here? Shame on you. In the trash can area? Okay. Where the, where does they start you? Oh, they start you at right, the rest where stop. Where we were going? Hmm. And maybe you lose experience? I don't think so. There's got to be some kind of penalty. It's got to be, but... I don't, I don't see one. <laughs> yeah, it's odd. Anyways, I do hope you guys did enjoy this episode with all our long discussions. Uh, I'd love to hear what you guys want us, because obviously the game doesn't really provide a ton of commentary. That's why we do talk about so much uh, unrelated stuff. Personal shit. Yeah, so I'd love to, to hear you guys' opinion on commentary and stuff. Uh, again, I know we, don't, we won't be going for the series that much longer. Uh, but yeah, I'd love to hear you guys' opinion on, you know, are you enjoying the commentary? Are we droning on? <laughs> or yeah, would you, are you not liking what we're talking about? It's always helpful to just have don't a little bit of- Don't talk about your personal shit. Have a little bit of feedback from you guys. I know everybody has personal preferences as well. Some people like different things, but yeah. Uh, we could talk more about the game if that's what you want to hear. Or, uh, less about certain stories or, I don't know. Uh, just let us know, uh, cause love hearing from you guys. We do read and reply to all comments. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to our channel. Hit that notification bell, and again, as I said, leave a comment. Let us know how you're feeling about the series. Any feedback is always appreciated. Hope to see you on the next episode, and thanks for watching, guys.